Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and you are watching episode 2 of Private Server Hack Protection. Last time we looked at Vanilla, Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King servers. This time we'll be looking at Cataclysm and Missa Pandaria. Why not Warlords of Draenor servers too? Because Warlords of Draenor can go fuck itself. Like a 4chan sex offender, I'll be hiding behind a VPN for this video and I'll be doing all this on brand new virginal accounts to evade the IP ban hammer. We'll start things off with a fan favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Hacklord will be the pawn for the test here on Atlantis. Now, the first thing I wanted to try out was speedrunning. I clicked the mouse button and I was leaving North Shear Valley faster than a dog in a North Korean butcher shop. I sprinted all the way to Stormwind before I decided to give the fly hack a try. As with the speedrunning hack, this hack also worked. But as I soared over the trees and buildings, laughing at the mugs on the ground having to walk everywhere, all of a sudden, this. Hacklord just fell asleep mid-air and I had a debuff that said frozen. I couldn't move, something was wrong, and then a GM chat ping appeared. The GM told me that they did not tolerate hacking at all. I told him who I was and asked how they caught me. He didn't want to give me the actual details, only that they had experienced catching hackers and recently they were cleaning them away. So well done Atlantis, good job. The next one to look at is the childhood diabetic epidemic known as Monster. Well, Monster Wow to give it its full name. And Dog Rate will be guiding us through this sugar rush dream world. World. Speed running seems fine, but I wanted to see if I'd be detected like I was on Atlantis, so I tried flying. That also seemed fine, and I was able to fly around for some time. Then I decided to push it much further and add no clip into the mix. This is real game abuse territory now, and doesn't look like any sort of anti-cheat is about to kick in anytime soon. Teleporting to the Scarlet Monastery was a bad idea. Teleporting to the Chillwing Camp wasn't as bad, but either way, teleporting works here. I also I have one more hack to try and it's the size hack. Wow. Not that sort of hack, this sort. You can make yourself huge, but what can you do when you're this big? Obviously dance around in Stormwind. I mean, you can go mental if you really want, but this doesn't really do anything to the gameplay and no one here even really seems to notice. So I blew this off and headed over to Warmain where Orkbit's beard would do my bidding. Right away, the hack program gave me this message when I loaded Warmain with it. From what I've seen, Warmain is the only realm that the program actually warns you that certain features probably won't work. So let's just make sure. The server stops the speedrunning hack from being any use and it just resets your position after a few steps. The same can be said with a fly hack. Although you can fly, it just resets your position all the time. However, if you just lower the flight speed to regular walking speed, you can now get away with it and the server won't pick it up. As with Monster Well, you can combine the no clip hack for some real game abuse. Teleporting doesn't work here, however. If you put in the coordinates for your location, appear there, but you take just one step and you'll be whisked back to where you should be. Finally, I tried the giant hack, and judging by people's reactions, it seemed to be working just fine. The tiny people saw me as their new master and were instantly under my control. However, I got a message saying that actually I appeared only normal size to everyone else, and it was only on my screen that I appeared to be a giant. To prove this, I was sent a screenshot of what they could see while standing in front of me. So really, this hack only changes the size of my character on my screen, and everyone else playing sees me just normally. That's fine and explains why no one a monster well took any notice. But if we rewind back to this part of the video it turns out that these people are not praising a giant but they are in fact praising Orkbit's beard. Praise the final Cataclysm server on this video comes from Firestorm, a network of servers known for its prestigious quality control. <laughs> Amazingly, the name Burning Cock was already taken, so I had to just make do with Burning Knob. So, the first thing I'd wanted to try out was speedrunning. Yes, I can speedrun, I can speedrun all the way to these bugged NPCs. Then, I ran a bit further and I found these guys are also bugged to shit. Why are people on Reddit waiting for gummies? server when they have quality like this they could play right now fucking 10 out of 10 guys fucking core graph who <laughs> 
can Bernie Knob fly? Of course he can fly. Can I no clip? Of course I can no clip. I can fly right into the Echo Ridge mine because fuck you. Teleporting? Of course teleporting. But let's not stop here. Let's move over to the Mr. Pandaria server and see if that's any better. Here on Firestorm's MOP server, come bucket. We'll have to see if things are any better. First of all, speed running. Yep, that works here. You can even turn it right up to insane levels of speed and really fuck the game up. My client is still downloading as I play and it tries to download the immediate surrounding area that I'm playing in because now I'm moving at the speed of light the download is getting in the right fucking mess and keeps freezing I'm gonna try out flying next you probably have already an idea of where this is going but you are wrong Firestorm have managed to disable fly hacking well done I guess but considering the speed running I just did it's a bit of a hollow victory did they fix teleporting too <coughs> no you can see that you can still teleport wherever you like now let us progress onto war mains mr pandaria server to see if that's any better here you can see that entire fist can't speed run when it's set to fast speed at slightly lower speed you can still kind of do it but even at just over normal running speed you'll still get a few hiccups so it's pretty much like their other realms as far as speed protection goes what about flying though well you can fly but the same speed protection stops you from making progress in the air like it does on the ground however if you set the fly speed to that of normal running speed then you can just fly here with very few problems just being able to fly in the first place leaves the door wide open to system abuse as you can see here teleporting will not work here and you just get reset back to where you should be you might have noticed that i've not tried no clip on these mop servers yet that's because mr pandaria works differently and the hack program won't let you no clip on any mop server there is some sort of change to the way the game works that prevents it so i'll be replacing this with water walking and you can do that just fine here on war main it's now the turn of wow freaks shocker the owner of wow freaks asked me to cover his legion server because he just put in some great anti-cheat into it however i don't even want to look at warlords adrenal let alone legion so clicker tank will now test the speed running here on their mr pandario realm as you can see speed running works oh shit that running jump looked like fucking elite ninja skills let's see what that looks like with water walking on Fly hacking works here, which allow me to capture this glorious scene from Sunstrider Isle. So here we have speed running, flying, water walking, and finally teleporting also works here. I teleported here, then I teleported to Stormwind, which turned out to be a much worse idea than it seemed. Finally, the last server I'm testing today is Tori Well. I need a piss, started the game, and noticed that there was an unread letter in the mail. It said that there were no GMs online at any point. To me, this was not a piece of information. This was a challenge. But my hack program, which had worked on all the other Mr. Pandaria servers, just would not work here at all. After a bit of poking around, Toriwell uses a custom EXE file, which knocks out the hack programs from working. So I just injected the Toriwell realm list into the WoW Freaks client, and now the hack program is working again. Well, I say working, but I tried the speed running, and they had the same protection as war main and it just resets you back to your correct position every time you try to use it fly hacking also fails to work and you won't get anywhere with that can you teleport no again it's the same as war main protection and you'll just get sent back to where you should be fuck you can't even walk on water here as the server will just disconnect you if you try so we have a clear win on the mop server front Torvi well beats war main because they have managed to beat fly hacking as well as everything else well i hope this episode has helped you to make a decision if you're planning to try any of these servers that's it how about time to say